Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back to Curiosity Lounge. In today's videos we are going to talk about Top 10 Bond Girls. Before we start, hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. 10. Olga Kurilenko as Camila Montez in Quantum of Solace 2008 While Quantum of Solace is often, and perhaps unfairly, maligned as the weakest film of the franchise's Daniel Craig era, it didn't disappoint in the style stakes. That's in no small part thanks to Olga Kurilenko's show-stopping turn as Camille Montez, a woman seeking revenge against the film's villain for the murder of her family. As one of the tougher Bond girls in recent memory, it only felt right that she should wear a look by Prada. That black cocktail dress with the sweetheart neckline and wide shoulder straps should be effortlessly stylish too was simply the cherry on the cake. 9. Honor Blackman as Pussy Galore in Goldfinger, 1964 as one of the most memorably named Bond girls, shall we say, the late Honor Blackman's Pussy Galore is a no-brainer for this list. My name is Pussy Galore, says Blackman as she introduces herself, to which Sean Connery replies, I must be dreaming. The leader of a group of women aviators and a judo black belt, her fighting spirit was represented through a wardrobe that included plenty of tailoring, most memorably a crisp white pantsuit that made it instantly clear who the real boss was in her relationship with Bond. Eight. Gloria Hendry as Rosie Carver in Live and Let Die, 1973. As the first black Bond girl, Gloria Hendry, who had come into prominence starring in many of the black exploitation films on which Live and Let Die was loosely based, made history with her role as the CIA double agent Rosie Carver. But it wasn't just her groundbreaking appearance that turned heads. Carver's signature look was something to behold too, a delightful multicolored bikini that always came accompanied by her favorite accessory, a machine gun of course. Seven. Leia Sadu as Madeline Swan in Spectre, 2015, and No Time to Die, 2021. With her performances as Madeline Swan, Leia Sadu now holds the honor of being the first Bond actor to appear as a love interest across multiple films, and she has the perfect wardrobe to match. While the standout fashion moment of 2015 Spectre was undoubtedly the ravishing dusty green satin dress she wore while having dinner with Bond on a luxurious sleeper train, in No Time to Die, Sedu's wardrobe is more casual, befitting her working life as a psychologist. That doesn't mean there aren't still a few fabulous looks on show, however. Most notably, the slinky Massimo Duty white ribbed dress she wears during the film's nail-biting opening sequence in Matera, Italy. 6. Jane Seymour as Solitaire in Live and Let Die, 1973 Appearing as the mysterious tarot reader Solitaire in Live and Let Die, Jane Seymour's lavish costuming might have stolen the show if it weren't for the film's visual spectacle with locations including Jamaica, New Orleans, and Harlem. Solitaire's wardrobe consisted of an array of dramatic headdresses and opulent gowns, making her looks among the most iconic and distinctive of all Bond girls. 5. Haley Berry as Jinx Johnson and Rosamund Pike as Miranda Frost in Die Another Day 2002 Die Another Day had so many great looks we couldn't pick just one Bond girl to include. First up, there's Halle Berry's jaw-dropping entrance as Jinx Johnson, an American NSA operative whom Bond meets on the beach in Cuba, she emerges from the water. She wears an orange bikini and matching diving belt, crafted by costume designer Lindy Hemming in a pitch-perfect homage to Ursula Andress's iconic look in Dr. No. Then there was Rosamund Pike's turn as the duplicitous agent Miranda Frost, with her most memorable look coming during a party scene at an ice hotel, where Pike is perfectly dressed for the occasion in a one-shoulder silver gown dripping with crystals. Four. Famke Janssen as Xenia Onatop in Goldeneye 1995. A former Soviet fighter pilot, Xenia Onatop's innuendo-laden name is matched only by her signature move as an assassin, crushing her enemies between her thighs, a move she tries on Pierce Brosnan's bond in Goldeneye to no avail. Played with gusto by Famke Janssen, the only thing more dangerous than her ruthlessness as a killer is her wardrobe of goth-tastic slinky black mini-dresses and skirt suits, the tailoring so sharp it could take your eye out. 3. Ursula Andress as Honor Rider in Dr. No, 1962 Dr. No was the film that started them all, and Ursula Andress's unforgettable look in her first scene as Honor Rider was the one that started a buying frenzy for two-piece bikinis. Neatly coinciding with the sexual revolution, the outfit is now regarded as among the most famous bikinis of all time. Designed in a collaboration between the film's costume designer Tessa Prendergast and Andress herself, the ivory cotton number, with its distinctive belt detail, is one that Andress credits much of her subsequent career to. 
This bikini made me into a success, she told The Telegraph in 2001, ahead of putting the look up for auction. As a result of starring in Dr. No as the first Bond girl, I was given the freedom to take my pick of future roles and to become financially independent. 2. Ava Green as Vesper Lind in Casino Royale 2006 While Ava Green's Vesper Lind only appeared in one Bond film, her legacy has lived on, with a visit to her grave serving as a key plot point in the early scenes of No Time to Die. She's one of just a handful of Bond girls with whom the agent fell head over heels in love, and given Green's uber-glamorous wardrobe, it's not hard to see why. Whether donning a form-fitting black Versace dress on a dinner date with Bond, or a breathtakingly slinky, crystal-embellished purple Roberto Cavalli gown to attend one of the film's tense Baccarat games, Green is memorable as a Bond girl for a reason. 1. Grace Jones as May Day in A View to a Kill 1985 Finally, we reach the ultimate fashion knockout in Bond history. Grace Jones as the bodyguard and lover of Christopher Walken's nefarious villain, Max Zorin, in 1985's A View to a Kill. The costumes Jones wears throughout the film deserve the title for their visual impact alone. Has anyone ever made a hooded cape look so good? But they get bonus points for their top-tier fashion pedigree too. Mayday's entire wardrobe was designed by none other than Azadine Alea, whose signature clingy dresses and mastery of leather added the perfect finishing touch to a character who was mad, bad, and dangerous to know. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on any amazing video from us.